What's up, folks? This is Coach Marcus for Pro Fan Talk. Probably going to be the last time I talk about the Sixers for a while. Uh, Joel's press conference? Nah. You the MVP, and you talking about um, we can't do it alone. It can't be just me and James. Like, nah, bro. That's, that's, all, that's all on you. That's completely on you. So, as the MVP, uh, my advice would be to, I should have done better. Um, there are some things that I could have done to keep us in the game. When you're the MVP, it should be I, I, I. Everything should fall on, should fall on your shoulders. Period. So the, so the fact that you talking about, you know, you and James can't do it alone, first of all, James Harden has a horrible history, horrible history in the in in the playoffs. You can just check the record. All like he has not had a good time in the playoffs. He has come up small many many times. Um, and him for him to only have nine points, nah. And Joel Embiid I, again. You are the league MVP. So you were voted the best player in the league. The best player in the league, bro. Nah. Because you got to prove that. That only happens on the court. The, the, regular season, the regular season in the NBA does not matter anymore. Not at all. Not at all. It's something for sports talk to argue about to talk about on the radio and on youtube but at the end of the day that that stuff don't matter it don't matter and just like i said the other day um now it looks like the only thing joel and b was worried about was the mvp i don't necessarily believe that but that's what is out in the ethos right now the only thing he cares about is the mvp and you know what? It's kind of hard to argue with. It's kind of hard to argue with. You can say what you want to say, but the proof is in the pudding. And what you put down in the playoffs, brother, was god awful. You have zero excuse. Dude, you couldn't back down Al Horford. You could not back down Al Horford. Al Horford was flexing on you. I'm like, come on, man. So you mean to tell me you couldn't handle that. Nah. That's a bad showing. That Now you got Ben Simmons putting memes up and all of that kind of stuff. I don't even know if it, in reality it came from him or just somebody trying to capitalize on it. But, I mean, to even be put in that class, for, for even to people to be able to make it look like Ben Simmons is cracking jokes. That looks bad on you, bro. That's all you. So you can spout all of this, you know, we're going to grow from it and we're going to get better from it and all of that kind of stuff. And we done heard all of that before. So now, like I said a couple days ago, all of that sweat equity you put in to be the MVP and you put it down, you were the best player in the NBA in the regular season. And again, some people could have could have picked uh, Jokic and arguably... I can see that happen, but you you proved it. You put it down enough times when you had your one on one match, when y'all played Boston in the regular season. You put your thing down, but when it comes to the playoffs, it's a different level, and you got to raise your game a little bit more. And you didn't do it, bro. Come on. So now we got to hear all of this talk, and for the whole season next year, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna make a damn bit of difference. What you do in a regular season, if you're putting up 50 and 40, are you averaging 30 and 10? It ain't, it ain't going to matter. It ain't going to matter because it's going to all come down to what happens in the playoffs. Can you shine brightest when the lights are on? That's what it's all going to come down to, what you can do in the playoffs. If you can't do nothing in the playoffs, man, it don't matter. It don't matter. Ain't nobody worrying about the process no more. Ain't nobody... Don't nobody care about that stuff no more. The only thing we care about is getting to the playoffs 
and possibly winning the championship in Philadelphia. That's it. That's it. So you got a lot of work to do because now it's going to take a while for true 76ers fans and Philadelphia fans to get that bad taste out of their mouth. It's going to take a while for that. Then when they do, and it does roll around next season, they're going to remember what happened last weekend. So you're going to hear that talk over and over and over again. And then you're going to hear that talk all the way through the season. And only until we get back to the playoffs next year will you be able to start to repair the damage that, that, that's been done. So you got to go through a whole year and make us and take us to the playoffs. So now you got to do all of this shit all over again. That's the bane of being an MVP. It's a regular season award, but the only thing that matters is the playoffs. Postseason play. Now watch Jokic go all the way to the finals or something goofy like that. So it's it, Jojo. Bad business, bro. Bad business. So, guess what? It's time to get back to the Eagles and the Flyers and, and the Phillies and see what's really happening because we got another Philadelphia team that got to the playoffs and folded. It is what it is. So, until next year, Sixers fans, it's going to be a long off season. Chew on it. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of moves being made. Is Doc going to stay or go? And Doc is probably going to go. Um, but that game seven ain't on him. Not in my opinion. Game seven is not on him at all. So we'll see what's going to happen. But I will see you guys next week. Please uh, make sure you subscribe. Press that notification button because we're going to be coming with some good stuff in the near future. Pro Fan Talk. Coach Marcus, I'm out.